name's Steve White and we're here today at Blueprint Studios and we've just done our first listening party for the album. So all the work that we've done to make this record and all the uh, mixing and playing, we've actually let it out and let people hear it. And we've had some friends and family and some lovely people from press and radio and it was quite nerve wracking but um, it seems to have gone down really, really well and we're really pleased and it feels a bit of a relief now. It's sort of interesting, it's sort of strange really, sort of having your music playing on that, on the, on the speakers and then having a sort of walk around the room and people, you know, saying this is great or stuff like that, you know, so everybody's been really complimentary and just a nice reward actually of us sort of working on something that we sort of felt quite natural, so natural doing. It seems like it's sort of naturally got people's attention and people are into it. We've got such disparate influences between Matt Dayton's background, because he's into, I mean he's learned a lot of rock stuff as well, but he does quite a lot of folk stuff, which I think really comes out, that sort of classic sort of English folk. And me and Steve with all our different influences, from hip hop grooves through to jazz and soul and what have you. And it hangs together because of Matt's voice and the way we all play together. So even though, let's say, one song is kind of out there, almost like a trip-hop thing, and another one's sort of pastoral English folk, it all fits together because same drums, same bass, same guitar, same vocals. Overall, it's been a really great afternoon. Everybody's had loads of fun. The album itself was fantastic. You can tell that it's really well produced. Although they, the guys didn't play the album live to us here today, um, what we found was, as we were interacting as, as groups this afternoon, listening to the album in the background was really easy and great to listen to. You can tell that they've been that they've been in the business for a really long time. They're really talented musicians. I didn't hear it until literally the last, the first cut, and I actually couldn't believe it. I, honest to God, I couldn't believe it. And, it, and there's certain songs on it. When, when I first got together with Steve, I went through all of his backlog. It took me quite a long time, as you know. And there's certain songs like Paris Match and Sunflower that literally spoke to me and jump out, you know, jumped out to me. And there's songs on this album that do the same thing. And you just think, God, this is unbelievable. I can't, I can't wait to listen to it by myself, from start to finish. And, um, it's just, more than anything, it's just great to hear good musicians playing together again. When they get in a room and record something and it blows you away, it's not better, you know. I, I loved it, it was a wall of noise, it was a bit trippy, it was a bit bluesy sometimes, it was a bit psychedelic sometimes. When you listen to the bands they've been in before in the past, it's like you, you can hear where they come from, but only you, you can sort of find where that musician lies on their own rather than just, you know, and the impact that person has in another situation rather than in the one you're generally used to. I think the album's really good. They've gone back to the old school way of recording, the way I used to record when I first started out with different bands I was in. And you have got to be prepared. You've got to have the songs ready. Of course, you've got to write the songs first of all. You've got to get in a rehearsal room to record them uh, on demos and work out the arrangement that's going to work and you have to try and do that within the budget and your limited budget that you often have and that's the only way to work. I don't understand bands that take two years, three years, four years to make an album. You don't, nobody can need that long a time to make an album, to write 12 songs, arrange them and record them. There's no, there's no need for that. I've never, I've never understood that way of doing things. The only way of doing things is to get your good songs, rehearse them as good as you can get them, and then go in the studio, get them recorded, get them down as fast as you can, maximum three or four takes. Otherwise you lose the spontaneity. And that's exactly what they've done on this album, and, and it works, because you create the atmosphere of real playing, real musicians playing real live music. All sorts of stuff going on, really. Uh... I could hear a bit of a uh, bit of a jam going on, a bit of uh, kind of acid jazz type thing kicking on in the background. There's also real mixture of stuff in there, nice eclectic mix, but with real depth to the sound. I thought it had a great drum sound, especially the kit. I love the kick sound. What I liked about it, there was um, different tempos throughout throughout the actual the album. You could listen; it was easily listening. You know, a garden party atmosphere, and then there was a big a big oomph to it. 
a track had come in and it really take your notice around around what was going on and the vocals would shine through I, th I thought it was how can you describe it uh, beyond awesome I think would be the word for this one yeah news it was brilliant from from this word go the first chord the first beat of the drum it was it was amazing initially when the, when the album came on um, I thought what did I think I thought it was rock I thought it was a bit of Manchester um, I was oh, born in the 70s, so the 90s was a big time for me in Manchester music, and it gave me a feel of both rock and and, and the indie feel, the Manchester indie feel, um, and I liked it. I did like it. So I think it's engaging. I think it's thrilling. I, I can't believe it. It's so absolutely stuffed full of musicianship. That's what I get out of it. It's like it's a, it's a it's an album of substance. It's not flimsy, and, and I think you can hear that within it. That I was thinking they're also at the tops of their tree, and they're professors at the tops of their collective forest, if you will. Um, and and they and it shows, and I can hear that as well. I'm, I think it's terrific. I think the way the guys have put the album together is, is, is without any kind of preconceived plan other than just to try and make the best record possible and a pooling of songs and creative talent to, you know, and, and, and respect for each other as musicians. I think um, that's what makes a great band. I thought the rhythm section was, it was so tight um, and everything on top of that, it was, it was a myriad of, of different sounds, it was, it was excellently produced, I thought. All the tunes are different, and I was picking things out. I was picking the uh, the, the 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 chords, you know, the, the the piano out and the the keyboards and and the bass. It was it's fun, fantastic. Loved it. it. Sounds fantastic, really. It was a bit unfortunate though, because Steve invited me by text, and I presume because it was a Saturday, it was an evening thing. So I made prior arrangements, and uh, they went, "Yeah, see it three. and I went three. Oh, I don't know. So I did what I had to do and I got here as fast as I can and I'm not joking. I got up those stairs and I heard, thanks for coming. <laughs> but I have had managed to, while I've been milling, milling about, I've heard it and it sounds fantastic. They, they kind of taught me along the way of, about sort of keeping things a little bit sort of um, real. Um, and the, the best thing about this album for me is that the guys they found their sound on record um, and in, in our studio. Uh, basically it was, they, they did a, a few rehearsals running up to it, obviously they had the songs, uh, but it was, it was about, it was about them finding their way on record. And you know, they, they hadn't recorded anything before, obviously the track record and the history is massive um, and, and very well acclaimed. But when it comes to it, they they, they found it on record, and, and and I was such a I was so proud to be a part of that. If you ain't got it, people, I'd go out and get it quick, definitely. <laughs>